Salvation is not built on clothing, but, and I say that real quick, the Bible tells us to dress in modest apparels. And we know the teaching of the church from way back. I'm not gonna waste my time talking to anybody that have been in this church for a length of time and have heard the teaching and know our foundation, know what we were taught. I wouldn't waste my time trying to talk to you about what to wear and what not to wear. If your conscience doesn't speak to you, and if you want to be like everybody else, then you can do what everybody else does. But if you want to be a peculiar person, a special person, a set-aside vessel, then you'll think again. The late Bishop J.O. Patterson said to us, clothing may not be a sin, what you wear, what have you. He said, but your dress code, the way you dress is your silent witness. And when people see you not like the average, they take note of that. I've gotten compliments, but beyond compliments, riding Delta plane. And they've said to me, I wish that Delta would go back to the special decency of dress for those who fly in first class. Because it just seemed to make a difference. It just seemed to be different. I've had the opportunity to pray for stewardesses or flight attendants on the plane. Lady Di can witness to that. We didn't tell them who we were, but they've seen that. And, and not a time I got to get aboard, somebody don't compliment on how I look. And it doesn't come only from women. It comes from men and women. So it does make a difference. So we just want you to know that. And... As a, a statement somebody made, I guess you have to let your conscience be your guide. I want the world to know that I represent holiness. And I represent Jesus Christ. And anything that will dampen that, then I would refrain from doing that. And so, salvation is not clothing, but it's in your heart or what your mind. If you have a spirit of rebellion, to say that I don't care what they say. I'm going to wear my dress the way I want to wear it. I'm going to wear my pants. I'm going to do whatever I'm going to do. Well, that's you. You know, that's you and God. But I followed the teaching but all, from all the supervisors before me and the mothers going before me. And I tell you what, I, I've, I've, I've grown to be old now. Or older. I mean, I classify, I'm going to classify myself as old. Because y'all say old people, you know, they ain't got it together. And I, and I think I got it together a little bit. Amen. I went to the spa during the time of my um, surgery on my knees. And I went, they told me, well, you know, you're, when you take the exercises, you got to have your pants on. I said, mm-hmm. I wore my skirt with one of those big leg pants under it. Kulaks, that's what you call them, kulaks. Because I knew that I would have to be getting up on the table, and but my reputation was ahead of me. When I got there, they knew all about me, and when the guy that was working with me, the guy, I say, who was working with me, he give, took me through all the other procedures, and he said, okay, uh, Ms. Rivers, uh, can we get on the table? And I said, yes, sir. And he had a little smirk on his face. He said, I know you got your pants on under that skirt. <laughs> but they gave me the highest respect. The other ladies were there, they had their pants on. I had mine on, but I had my skirt, and I didn't take my skirt off. I kept it right on. And I wasn't uncomfortable either. I was very comfortable. And so they just think that I'm special male and female. I went in there with my little black cap on like this. Took my exercise with my cap on. 
You say, Mother River, that is really off. Are you, are you really all there? Yes, I'm there. And I had my little earbobs in and my necklace on. My daughters laughed after me. They said, who you ever see go to the spa with necklace and, 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 and you know. But I went there looking like a saint. And I get compliments from the doctors, the nurses, and everybody in that outfit. This is Mother Rivers, every time, Miss Rivers, every time you come here, you look so nice. You always look nice. Well, that make me feel good. I'm a child of the king. Amen. I'm not just an ordinary person. I don't mean I'm better than people, but I'm a special child. So if I enjoy getting those compliments from black and white gentlemen and ladies. And so it's up to you what you want to do about that part of it. It's, I, I can't tell you it's a sin, but I tell you what, it sure give you a great respect. 